Before we start the video, just a quick reminder that I do have a Discord server, so if you haven't yet, please join it. We can chat there, and also it's a good way for me to communicate with you in case something bad happens to the channel. If you're interested, the link to it is in the description. Yo, what's up guys? It's over the Wolf 469 and welcome to a new Ninjago video. Because of school, it's difficult for me to cover news during the week. To balance school and YouTube, I decided to do weekly news overviews and you're watching one of them. Let's get started. First off, this is carried from last week. Lego Ideas is hosting a Ninjago 10th anniversary contest relating to builds and art. So if you're interested and haven't yet, go submit because it closes on Tuesday. Thanks to Luke for this. On Monday, Madex Whiteway, the actor for Young Woo, earned the Young Entertainer Award, so hooray! Just this can show that Ninjago can kick butt against other shows, and hopefully we can see the more prominent Ninjago actors earn awards for the show at some point. Also on Monday, we got a leak with some more 2021 preliminary set images, though the only one we need to care about is the Jungle Dragon. I won't share it here because of copyright, but if you would like to see it, a link to my Reddit post will be in the description. It looks cool, you can see the same background we saw with the Keeper's Village a couple weeks ago. And it looks final, so I won't be surprised if the final set image looks like this. I guess we will see around the end of the month, hopefully. On Wednesday, a Christmas-themed Lloyd minifigure was leaked online. Again, I'm going to play it safe, you can see it in the link below. As you can hopefully see, it is Season 13 Lloyd with a Christmas-themed sweater. As for what we know, it appeared on the cover of a LEGO Life magazine, but I think it will be a promo around Christmas time. Again, we will have to wait and see. Earlier today, Netflix released Seasons 10 through 13 here in the US. What's funny is that they left out Season 11's Fire Chapter and Seasons 12 and 13 were combined as one season. Netflix messed up bad here, but hopefully it can fix this soon. I heard something similar happened in the UK with them missing the ice chapter. I feel you guys. Again, hopefully it can be fixed. Finally, also today, for those of you curious what Ninja Whip's big announcement is, it will be a big 10th anniversary documentary. I will put the trailer in the description. I can't wait to see it. It will be cool to see the actors and producers talk about Ninjago, how far the show has come, and so much more. That's pretty much all I have to say. If any more news shows up, I will be sure to cover it next weekend. Thank you so much for watching everyone, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out. Bye.